<clears throat> anyway, where do you want to pick it up? Just start over. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Sean Stone. This is our third take. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Jay Bates. Uh, Today's question is from Dan. <laughs> Do you want to just, just go. Just go. All right. So uh, this is from Dan. He says, I'd like to see you address some of the issues in dealing with an unheated shop. And then he also says, what are the concerns with tools? Is, it, is there long-term damage to tools when the weather gets cold? An unheated shop. So yeah. basically, uh, the the enemy here is humidity. When you take something from a cold environment or something that is cold and you put it into warmer air, then you have condensation problems. If you take a drink out or a beverage out of your refrigerator and you walk outside with it, it's going in the summertime, it's going to uh, form condensation around the beverage. Yeah. Same thing with all of your tools. In the wintertime, typically, your tools are colder than the air. And when you further that by heating up the air, then those tools sweat or they con the condensation will form around them. Well, what's the enemy of cast iron and metal? Water. Rust. Water. <laughs> well, yeah, rust. water which will form rust. So the, the best thing that you can do to your shop to control all that is to... Uh, oh, no, I'm just kidding. So you want to control the environment. Control the environment. So you control the... Uh, the heating and cooling. Both of us have put mini splits in our shops yeah. for heating and cooling. We live in a hot and humid environment. So heat isn't necessarily the biggest concern for us. It's air conditioning in the, in the summertime. But we yeah. both have heat, he, uh, heat systems as well. Yeah. So, I mean, when I first started in, in my shop, I, I really didn't have an issue with, you know, condensation or my tools becoming rusty. And the reason for that, uh, I think, is because when I built the shop, I insulated it and also have a sealed shop. So going back to control the environment. Yeah, if you insulate your shop, if you have a, a, a more controlled environment, mm -hmm. then you don't have that drastic of a swing. Yeah. So your tools are primarily not going to be introduced to extreme uh, temperature swings. Yeah, and, and if I remember correctly, you've had some issues when you raised the garage door in your shop. Yes, so the first... I, get, I think a uh, year and a half in my place, uh, in my current shop, I did not have it heated and cooled. And I had the garage door open. Well, we live in a hot environment, so the door had to stay open. A fan had to be running. Anytime it rained, which is a lot here in Mississippi, uh, the humidity would just spike uncontrollably. And then um, that would also cause condensation because typically no matter what your tools if they're in a shaded environment like a shop like this then typically they're going to be a little bit cooler than the air to begin with yeah so i had a lot of condensation issues on mine um so bottom line the best thing you can do is control the environment yeah like both of us have since done but if you can't then you have to get into maintenance mode basically yeah to just prevent it uh prevent it from causing problems to begin with there's a lot of products out there excuse me, a lot of products out there that prevent rust on cast iron surfaces. Um, there's two things you can do. Number one, you can treat the surface or protect around it. So have you ever heard of a, um, a tool cover? Kind of like a grill cover. Okay, yeah. Tool cover. So you don't necessarily <clears throat> want to use something like a tarp that is not breathable because condensation will still form. The, the humidity will trap it. It'll trap it yeah. and you're just back to square one. So they make specific... Uh, tool covers that are breathable. They're like a cotton and poly. Think about a, a landscape fabric that blocks the weeds but lets water through. I guess that kind, of, that kind of thing. That, that concept, yes. It's like a one-way street. Yeah. So you put it over your tools when you're not using them. And typically, the vast majority of us, we don't use our tools eight hours a day, seven days a week, you know. Uh, so you can cover them. And what that'll do is kind of create a little shield from those drastic changes to allow the tool to reach equilibrium um, slower, I guess you could say, when you are in a kind of a heated environment. Hmm. And then beyond that, um, preventing rust on tools. I originally saw this from John Heiss, and he originally saw this from Matthias Wandel, uh, woodgears.ca and ibuilder.ca respectively. Um, they both recommend and have great results with putting water-based polyurethane just a very thin layer of water-based polyurethane on all their cast iron surfaces. Have you ever tried that? I have not. I've heard of wax, you know, and, um, you know, oiling it, that kind of thing. Wax. But I've, not a, poly, a, 
uh, water-based polyurethane. I have not. Yeah, so I, I've done the wax thing, and it, it it slows stuff down. But when when it's just crazy, when you're in the worst situations where it's just crazy humid, kind of like it is here, or maybe you're in a northern state where it's really cold, and you've got like a wood-burning stove heating everything up rapidly. Um, you're just going to get condensation issues regardless of what you, would, you do. You would pretty much need to be on a schedule with waxing and that kind of thing if you had a you know a consistent issue with yeah. it. Yeah, but I, I personally haven't found it to be perfect. The, the best thing that I've done is, is that water-based polyurethane because mm. I would still have issues. And then also, I've made the mistake of uh, before I had the uh, mini split in my shop, I've made the mistake of actually leaving the garage door open all night long on accident, just forgetting about it and not oh, shutting wow. it. And then the next day I've gone in there, uh, my grizzly table saw it. All my other tools is just a, f a fine layer of orange. And that was instant rust overnight. Mm. Uh, wax just won't do it. Won't, won't uh, solve that issue. Mm. So, yeah. So, water-based polyurethane. Water-based polyurethane. I'll have links down below. I was going to say, we have a link we can leave. I'll have links guys. down below. And then also I'll post another link to a video I saw of a knife maker. And he, jo he, he took knife blanks. And he put several different uh, treatments on them, uh, um, WD-40, mm -hmm. regular 3-in-1 oil, and, and some various other things, and let, let them outside for quite a while and uh, saw actually what happened to them. And the one that <coughs> performed the best was just regular lightweight 3-in-1 machine oil. Hmm. So that's something that I would always do is, is machine oil on some stuff. And I still do that, actually, with my hand planes. Uh, it works really well. Yeah, I haven't really had an issue with any of that, so I don't have a whole lot to contribute to the conversation. Uh, but controlling the environment, I think, would be the ultimate solution yeah. for you know protecting your tools. Obviously. Yeah. So hopefully that helps. Like I said, we'll have some helpful links down in the description below. If you have any uh, tips or tricks that have really worked for you as far as uh, controlling dust, or not dust, rust rust controlling rust and uh humidity problems and such then please leave them in the uh, comments down below if you have another question for us let us know let us know and we'll catch you next time see you later